Welcome to Online Just a Minute. We're we supposed to say so. oh, hi. Do stuff. I mean, you can do whatever you like. You can oh, do good. You hi. Like. There we go. And as the minute walls fades away, I would like to welcome viewers not just from this room, but from bedrooms entirely around the internet. Uh, we are going to play this game very, very soon. I don't want to minimise that. I really don't know what I'm doing and I can't find where that's gone. There we go. There's my script. Uh, I'm your host, Paul Mooney. And as the minute will fades away, I'm welcoming you to this room, but not just rooms around the internet. I've already said that, but I'll cut it later on. Uh, before I introduce the wonderful guests, I'd like to say a quick, quick disclaimer. This is in no way an official version of the BBC radio show. It is not affiliated in anything other than love. No profit will be made from this production, as it's not an original idea of my own. It's been born out of the recent pandemic and stopped me going mad. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if the BBC did not sue me. I will be plugging my fellow guests if they have a YouTube channel, an online show that they wish to promote, a uh, production after all this goes away, or if they have a funding account. This leads me to introduce my guests. So, uh, over on this side we have the lovely Marinka Rasha. Hello! Hello! Uh, over on this side we have the amazing Andrew Hobbs. Hello! Just down here, we have Becky and Molly. Hello, Becky. Hello, Molly. <laughs> and just yeah. down here, we have the amazing uh, Rob Taylor Neustadt with many, oh, many, yeah. many toys. And many toys, yes, and lots of toys. So, uh, I will quickly explain the rules uh, for those that haven't played, which is most of you. The rules are as follows. The contestants will be given a subject which they must talk on for a minute without hesitation, repetition, or deviation. Points are awarded for correct interruptions and uh, awarded for incorrect ones to the player. Bonus points are awarded for when the moment has elapsed or if I happen to enjoy the interruption. <laughs> so, uh, we have, we're going to start with Andrew and we are going to set up, so there, and your subject, Andrew, you have a minute to talk on Punch and Judy. Punch and Judy, and your time starts now. Punch and Judy is a traditional puppet show in which children are delighted by watching scenes of domestic abuse presented for the amusement of others. There are many characters other than the eponymous couple including a red-faced policeman who does something involving his truncheon and a string of sausages. This is often performed in huts, on seasides, in schools or other environments where the youth can appreciate the humour of the presentation. Also, Beep. Okay, Becky, well done. Um, presentation, but I think his presentation was at the sound of my son in the shower. <laughs> hey, whatever you use. Um, Becky, you got <laughs> there with six seconds to go. Six Aww. seconds, so a point to Becky. And you have six seconds on Punch and Judy. Your time starts now. Punch and Judy do indeed like hitting each other very much. And there you go. Well done. Very well done. Very Another good. point to Becky there. Very uh, remarkable, that, quite frankly. So, um, at the end of the first round, uh, we have a joint second place of everybody but Becky, uh, who is sailing away with two points. So, uh, Marinka, I'm going to yeah. go with you next. And you are yeah. going to talk about... Your inner Valkyrie, your inner Valkyrie, and your time starts Good luck. now. I have to tell you about my inner Valkyrie, which is a persona based on an operatic character. The well, ca hesitation, come on. Oh. <laughs> Rob, uh, I think that was a hesitation. Should we go with that? Oh, actually, I've just realised what I need to speak on now, so can <laughs> yeah, I take yeah. it back? And say... you have 43 <laughs> seconds, Rob, on your inner Valkyrie, and your time starts now. My inner Valkyrie is something 
I like to see as the Valkyrie from Thor 3. I believe it was that movie. She's a wonderful character, uh, incredibly passionate and effervescent coming off of the screen. And as I say, my Valkyrie is very similar uh, to that. Uh, Andrew, a repetition of Valkyrie. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's on the card, though, surely. It's That's in the fine. title, though. Sorry, it should have been If it's on the title page, you can say it as much as you'd like. Okay, you good okay. effort, good effort. That does Who give you? you another point, though, there, Rob. So well done. Thank you very much, Andrew. You have really 19 seconds that. to talk mm. on your inner Valkyrie, and your time starts now. As I was saying, my inner Valkyrie is something you'd see on a Hollywood screen played by a wonderful actress whose name completely evades me at this point. But believe me, when I say Valkyrie, hoo, 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 it's mine and it is incredibly... Oh, well done. Well done. And you managed to get away with going hoo, hoo, hoo with three yeah, seconds for not to go. On that, guys. Very impressive. So well done. <laughs> Very impressive. Uh, let me get rid of this. So, uh, Becky, it's your turn next. Uh, you have a minute to talk on, and I'm, I'm reckoning you're going to be quite good at this. You're gonna, you've got a minute to talk on being crafty. Being crafty. The time starts now. Being crafty is particularly important in this day and age, mainly because most people would need to be crafty to fill up their time whilst in lockdown. Now, being crafty, I spend most of my days being crafty. Indeed, I spend my time knitting, which is using two points to manipulate wool and create something. You can also use crochet hooks, in which case you can create something slightly different using knots. I also spend my time being crafty by engraving things into glass. I have an engraver with which to do this. And that can also be used as a wood burner and you can burn things into wood and make things that way. A wonderful thing about being crafty is that you get to make things for friends and they are very happy when they receive something. When you Buzz, have these, these repetition of make? Yeah. That oh yeah, repetition like of make. <laughs> <laughs> Rob, you got in with two seconds to go. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I've got a but that was a, press, a very impressive effort. Well done, well done, Becky. Very impressive. So, Rob, you have, which seems rather apt at the moment, two seconds on being crafty. Your time starts now. I was just incredibly crafty. There you go. You were indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, going into uh, the next round, Rob has five, Becky has two, and. Um, you two are both in third place with, with nothing so far, but still, that, that's good, that's good. Uh, Rob, oh, I gosh, am going to be the subject of iRobot. iRobot. Mm -hmm. You have one minute on the subject of iRobot. Your time starts now. iRobot may sound like one is introducing themselves as an automotive native machine, but no, no, no. It's the title of a film. That's Becky come in there. Repetition of no. That's repetition fair. of no. <laughs> yeah. no, no, no. You know what? I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt because he's winning. Just bear with me one second because my timer had a bit of a moment there. You did about 15 seconds there, Rob. There was about I thought I did around about 60 seconds, actually. Do you? Do you? Do you really? Yeah. Um, you're wrong, but that, that's very sweet of you. Um, one second. There we go. One minute. That's all it needs to do. There we go. Okay, so I'm going to run that down. So, okay. Oh, this one, you know what I'm discovering about this apocalypse? Everything hates me, including technology, which never really hated me before, but now, for some reason, really does. And I'm now padding for time till this runs down. And do you know what? I'm going to go with 50 seconds. Um, you have 50 seconds on iRobot. Rebecca, your time starts now. Um, did you know that robots have, have buttons to, to do actions like, like, doing e -e, like going e -e -e -e. Buzz, repetition of e -e -e. I'm sorry, but it was in yeah, there. Buzz, 
<laughs> Rob, you Harsh. monster. You absolute I, monster. I'm here to you win. You're, your you're very cute, but I'm and here to win. I just want to point out, bringing the child as you're being crafty, yeah, brilliant, but you just went, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna steamroller this small cute child. Lovely. Shall I get a kitten for you to crush as well while we're there? Um, right. What's going on? Uh, I robot. Okay, you've got the subject back. Uh, good. Rob, good. Uh, Thirty-one seconds, starting now. The movie I Robot is based off of a book which I can't remember the title of, but that particular tome introduced Asimov's three laws. The first one of which was all about robot not being allowed to kill man. The second law was something else. Uh, oh no, because he said law and laws. I take that back. This okay. Uh, well, I'm going to ask Andrew. Well, Andrew, what did you come in with? Or was that the same one? It was a repetition of law, but Becky is quite right. You are right. You law. are right. Okay, Rob, you have 11 seconds on iRobot. You get another point. I'm also going to give I'm going to give Becky a point. And, well, actually, I'm going to give Molly a point because I thought Molly did really, really well, quite frankly. That's fair. And I'm oh, yeah. three points, so I'm going to give Becky an extra point if that's all right. Rob, you have 11 seconds, and your time starts now. Will Smith, what a star! There's one particular scene in which he takes off his shirt. Now I know Molly's in this chat, so I won't. Talk and that'll about do. It. Thank you very much. Well done. <laughs> extra point there goes to Rob, uh, and we're going into the next round. Andrew, it's back with you, and okay. I'm going to give you the subject of the Lion's Den. The Lion's Den. You have one minute on the Lion's Den. Your time starts now. The Lion's Den is a place where a pride, which is the collective noun for lions, might live. And it is also a location in which people of different religious persuasions might have been thrown by the Roman Empire if they disagreed with their theological practices. And when they found themselves within this locale, the lions would prowl around them before perhaps choosing to eat them. Lions come with different sizes of mane within their home and the families of lions prowl around happily looking at this place in which they live. Yeah, what, what, what was your buzz? Prowl. Oh, I think there probably was. Um, do you know what? I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt. Um, <laughs> again, <laughs> Andrew, you have eight <laughs> seconds left. Um, oh. I promise I'll give you the benefit of the doubt if it comes up. Marinka, you have eight seconds on a lion's den. Your time starts now. A lion's den is something the Romans used to throw you it's something I've and they and there you go well done America you get an extra point as the I get uh, the was chimed next to us very impressive so in a strong solid fourth place we have Andrew um behind with two points we have Maz with four points we have Becky and Rob who is has now got seven eight points eight points you're doing very well um Becky uh, sorry, Marinka, you're next. Sorry, my apologies. Marinka, oh you're next, and you have a night at the opera. A night at the opera. You have one minute on a night at the opera. Your time starts now. A night at the opera. It's something we love to do, to go out, have an evening entertainment where songs will be sung, orchestras will play, instruments will be tuned, you will be dressed in your best attire, drinks should be drunk, you should applaud at the end of arias and curtains. Uh, a buzz what? there from Andrew. Was there a that? hesitation there I think? What took you, you so know, I'm going to give a little bit because of the eight seconds they had left on. There was, there was quite a bit of hesitation. Um, you have 28 seconds, Andrew, on a night at the opera. Your time starts now. 
And nice at the opera is to many people Queen's best album as it contains the anthem Bohemian Rhapsody. It was a record that was named after a Marx Brothers film as was the subsequent A Day at the Races and it also contains the complex polyphonic prophet song alongside oh, well many done, Andrew. other you well were speaking as the, as the bell <laughs> rang and i keep wanting to say whistle when but i'm not nicholas Parsons. <laughs> uh which gives you an extra point very good uh, so uh we have becky 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 you have the subject of board games actually becky and molly you have the subject of molly of board games however um which one of you is going to go are you both going to go at the same time i think i am aren't i all right yeah. okay mum's yeah. going to go Okay, that's board games. You have one minute. Your time starts now. Board games are wonderful. That is a very simple fact. They bring a group of people together where you can talk and share wine. A lot of alcoholic beverages should be drunk. Um, and spend... Buzz, 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 buzz. Uh, <laughs> Rob, you came in with your robot. Uh, what is your? Uh, what is your? What's uh, wrong with that? I, I yeah, what is wrong with that, Rob? What, what is wrong? With with <laughs> well, I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there may have been a smidge of hesitation. Maybe, maybe, maybe a little bit, like possibly the wine. You know However, um, I mean, <laughs> actually, you know what? I'm if you'd have got one R in R, <laughs> we'd have got him. But you, there was at least ten. So, uh, <laughs> what was the subject? It was board games. Uh, Rob, you should be quite good at this, I'm guessing. Uh, you have 38 seconds on the subject of board games. Your time starts now. Board games. Famously, uh, people like to talk about Monopoly, but we all really know it's awful. Another terrible board game is Scrabble. Absolutely boring both of those would be. A good example of a board game is uh, <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Right, let's have a look. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to go with Andrew. Again, benefit the doubt there. Just the, I know, I know, Becky. Look how competitive you are. But he's stolen the from pair the of you, both, both Maz, all the, the three of you get angry at the completely made up game we're doing on the internet. However, <laughs> I'm going to go with Andrew. You have 13 seconds on board games. Your time starts now. Board games are a wonderful way to bring a family together and have them interact without looking at screens and talk to one another in an engaging well manner. Well done, Andrew. You were speaking as the bell was chimed and you are now uh, in... Well, Maz is, Maz is in uh, fourth place with two points. Andrew is in third place, uh, joint, sorry, no, Maz is in third place with two points. In joint <laughs> second place is Andrew and Becca with four, and Rob has nine. So it's all to play for. What? <laughs> There's a chance you won't come last, Maz. There's a chance you won't come last. However, <laughs> it is Rob's round, and this is the final round. Um, Rob, I'm going to give you the subject of my favorite toy. My favourite toy. This is one toy. minute. Remember, there's a child down there. I know. I'm oh. This is what I'm finding difficult with the whole child. <laughs> <laughs> it's not you. <laughs> you have one minute, and your time starts now. My favourite toy is one called a light seeker. It came out around three years ago, but was promptly discontinued. I, luckily, was working as a toy journalist at the time and managed to get the full set. Let me tell you about them. They are a wonderful collection of creatures and beasts and heroes and ghoulies, each one Bluetooth connected to their iPad and app, but also have a whole range of accessories and gimmicks. For example, there is one called Scourge, a beautiful orange lizard, who wields his buzzsaw axe and has wonderful lights and sounds that emanate from his speaker on the back. But he has a friend called Mary, a glorious blue shiny mermaid beetle character who has a whip 
which is made of an octopus tail. If well done, Rob. Well done, Rob. You were speaking as the bell was rang, and well, you managed to get another point. It seemed harsh that you only get one point for doing all of the two points. Thanks, playing that, but you did it anyway. If it helps, well, I can I'm show you. I'm going to come to the final can... scores. I will show you the final scores. Um, in a strong, solid fourth place, we have Maz with two. Well done. In uh, Sorry, again, I, 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 you've moved up a place because it's, it's, you're actually third. Because there is no... Yes, you're, you're third, Maz. You are third. Because there is no fourth place. Um, in joint second place, with four, four each, is Andrew and Becky and Molly. Yay! Yay, well done. Yay. And destroying children's dreams yet again, we have Rob Taylor <laughs> with 10 points. Well done. Thank you very much. Thank you Excellent. very much. Excellent. Now, uh, it, as we come to the end of the show, uh, it just leaves me to thank you, Mesa, for creating this game, the BBC for not taking legal action. I'm just going to go around the guests to see if they have anything they wish to promote or push. Maz, we'll start with you. Tell me, uh, what are you doing in this uh, crazy time that we're currently living in? Um, obviously not winning at this game. <laughs> <laughs> You've won our hearts, Maz. You've won our hearts. No, I'm doing online um, singing, ukulele, guitar and piano lessons, as well as creating and ex expanding my YouTube channel, doing recordings and learning tracks for my choirs and vocal groups whilst in isolation. Lovely. What about you, Andrew? You're still writing? Yes, still writing and trying to put together some sort of live unrehearsed Shakespeare performance for this month. So if that's something you sound like you'd like to be involved with, look facsimile productions up on Facebook or Twitter and we'd love to hear from you. Uh, what about you, Becky and Molly? What are you up to? Molly wants to talk. What do you want to what say? What do you want to tell us about, Molly? I want to tell us about Teddy. <laughs> she wants to talk to you about Teddy. Teddy. What do you want to say about Teddy? Did you know that Teddy's really just amazing about Teddy? <laughs> there you go. That's Excellent. what we're doing. Uh, and Rob, do you want to tell us about Teddy as well? Or have you got anything else to tell us? I would love to talk about Teddy. Uh, no, I'm um, with my co-host. Uh, we run uh, Roboteers Stand By, a podcast all about robot combat and other roboty things. Um, it's a weekly show. And we've got it on YouTube and wherever you find your podcasts. Roboteers Stand By. Lovely. All the links to those I will put in the bio of however I'm putting this out in the next couple of days once I've edited it all. Um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for playing, all of you. It's very much appreciated. Um, we hope to see you again. Tune in next week, next week to see the next production of Just a Minute. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye.